What's up and welcome guys. Uh, let me restart this really quick. Um, so, I've been pretty fucking excited to be doing this. Uh, if you can't tell from the fucking characters on the screen, it's a fucking in the lab, dude! Uh, so, this is fucking Super Shinobi Team, the fucking ninja crew. This is the only crew that you should ever, like, these guys pair together perfectly. You got the Spanish ninja who knows, oh, you got fucking Yoshimitsu who is a demon ninja. Well, like, what else? Oh, God. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. All right. So, let's get into things. <clears throat> I am actually very excited for this. Uh, I really like the way Vega plays on here a lot. <laughs> it's really different. Uh, actually, does that overhead... Well, let's check some things, because these games do not play the same, so let's check if, uh... Jump Back Roundhouse is an overhead on... Nope. Not an instant overhead on average size characters still. What about... Jump Back... Nope. Okay. So, that is the first thing that we have just learned. I'm... Oh, you guys. Ooh, okay. My cat. My cat is at the door. Uh, let's... Let's fucking start off with just some shit. Uh... Let's... Okay. So, some stuff that I have noticed. Uh, obviously, that can combo outside of just Scarlet Terror. Uh, you can actually get a lot more damage off of it than you may think. So, like... Whoops. <laughs> that was not... So, like, you can do that. If you want to burn... A, that's meterless. If you want to burn a bar... Well, you can tag in, uh, and actually, the launcher, it's, uh, combos, you can combo this off of, uh, I think it's jump roundhouse, yeah, if you, if you get jump roundhouse deep enough, you can combo the Scarlet Terror right away, so, uh, that is interesting, uh, one thing that I have noticed that I really don't like, though, is, his overhead, like, it does the same damage, but it leaves them in a hit stun state for too long. So, like, look at In Street Fighter 4, you'd normally be able to just throw right after this, but uh, occasionally I find myself not being able to. Um, maybe, maybe when I did try this, it uh, was just I was messing up the input or I was too far back. Um, obviously, we still got this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna show this because this was the last thing I was practicing with last night. We're gonna record something here. Um, let's actually reset the stage first. Alright, I want you guys to see this shit. Uh, it's really annoying for Vega, since Vega doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff to deal with fireballs. Uh, we're gonna record him, and then we're gonna just throw fireballs. Throw some fireballs at different speeds. That. Let's charge one up. That one. Okay, we'll call that good. Okay, now watch. Now, normally in Street Fighter 4, that goes through fireballs. Let's uh, let's back off and try and show it. No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. Whoops. Now the fucking NPC is uh. See, that one still goes through, the, the, the Crystal Flash still goes through Fireballs, but you you can't even... Uh, I keep messing up the, uh, the NPC. And then, you see, look at this. Even Ultra gets knocked out of it. Let's try towards him. So going towards him, it does seem like it has a... Uh, whoops. It does seem like it does have invincibility going over there, uh, but in terms of leaving the wall, it, it works completely different than uh, that. That didn't even go through a fireball. It works completely different. It works like almost polar oppositely to uh, how it worked on Street Fighter 4. So like, 
even then, going towards the wall behind them, if if the uh, distance traveled in the air is invincible, I still find myself getting knocked out of it sometimes. It seems like there's like a certain point when it's invincible, but uh, like watch. Ah, well, that hit the invincibility frame startup of the super, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, Vega only really has rolling Crystal Flash EX to go through fireballs, which uh, it's a little, a little stupid because, uh, you know what? Actually, maybe maybe the reasoning for that is because of this. Uh, let me try and show you this. You can combo off of this if I can hit it. It's hard to hit because the way that Vega lands behind them and then the way that they fall. <sighs> so let's just try going into, uh, let's say, just a... Yeah, see, I mean, that's kind of okay damage. But, I mean, you're not going through a fireball, so what does it matter? Like, this is just... Basically, it's basically just a, a cross-up, and it doesn't even come out as fast as his Street Fighter 4 version does. Uh, and it's a lot har I found myself struggling to control it a lot more. Um, I thought, like, I don't know, maybe it's just uh, last night I was very tired, and I was messing it up, but I thought it was a lot harder to control than it actually was. So, uh, let's tag in... Or boy, yo no, you know what? Let's tag him in in a swaggier fashion. Let me find it. Let's just restart. Let's just restart, and then we'll go over some stuff with Yoshimitsu. <laughs> All right, check it, guys. Here is like the sickest one bar bread and butter ever. If I hit the uh, the gem, sometimes I find it that the. Uh, Uh, I wish that that second part hit. So that did 450 for one bar off of an overhead, uh, confirmed. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I, I think that's a really solid, like, combo. So Yoshi, he has a terrible back dash, a terrible, like, yeah, that's like an average forward dash, actually. Um, his mix-ups are pretty butt. Uh, like, he's got... The deceptive low punch, his low strong is an actual true low. Uh, it doesn't look like Yoshi has any actual overheads. I guess to make up for that, he's got the jump roundhouse that causes a ground bounce, and maybe his sword is fully invincible when you do it. I don't know. I, I haven't really seen a whole lot. Uh, he does have this, which is dirty as fucking hell. Uh, you can tag in off of it and then get like a mix-up going. Well, I mean, I fucked it up, but oh well. You you see what I'm saying? I haven't practiced with them enough to uh, have their mix-ups and whatnot on point yet. That doesn't hit. That was that's the weird thing that I've been uh, trying to figure out is um, Yoshi's EX whatever that is sword spin. We'll call it sword spin. Sure. Uh, it does not hit mid-screen uh, if you add in light into strong so if you want to like let me show you damn it <laughs> it'll hit in the corner granted but if you do it mid-screen see it'll always whip uh, so in replacement of that you can do see Fuck, I keep... <laughs> I'm getting muscle memory where I shouldn't now. Uh, you can do Slap You Silly, uh, which I don't suggest, or you can do the Gahonda, I think it's called. Uh, granted, this link is really not easy. Yeah, see, there's the link. Uh, it does 291, which mid-screen, that's okay. And for no bar... That's not terrible, but uh, you can do uh, just lo standing short into the, the uh, sword spin, the EX sword spin, and it'll always confirm that way. Uh, the only time that I haven't had it confirm 
is if I don't cancel the sword spin, like, see, I didn't cancel it right there. If you don't cancel into the sword spin fast enough, uh, it, it does seem a little wonky, and I have had some, um, some drops for it. I'm, it's still a little inconsistent, and I don't know what causes the inconsistency, but for one bar, 322 damage, not bad. Uh, and I mean, as an alternative, you can always just go into the Gahonda uppercut. Which, I mean, 291 for no meter isn't bad. Uh, and that was... Yeah, no, 306, actually, because I wasn't even doing the heavy Gahonda. I was doing light. Uh, so that's not bad damage. And, I mean, his cross-up kick isn't terrible. Uh, I mean, you do have to be a little closer to them. But... It does seem pretty solid, um, so it's like you got to be about here to get the cross up. Uh, anywhere closer, and he'll—he's got—he's got a weird jump arc. Okay, uh, jump roundhouse is ridiculous, or jump fierce. Sorry. <clears throat> Ugh! I wish that hit. That's just like potential damage that he could get missed. Uh, let's see here. What were some of the other setups I was playing around with? Oh, there was this. And then you go in, and then you can either crouch down or hop straight up. And then if you crouch down and they think you're going for the overhead, you can <laughs> mess up your input and kill yourself. Uh, you can, you know, hop, get the overhead damage, cross up, and then crouch low, and then maybe go into the head. And then you can get fierce uh, Gahonda uppercut. And then combo that with EX for one bar, and it hits for, let's see here, for 286 off of uh, a mix-up. That's not terrible. Uh, another thing, what was it? Oh, this. So this is cool. I like this. Not that. And then that leaves you right in front of them for a throw setup if they aren't expecting it. And then you can just kind of mash out your throw. Plus it's a double overhead, so if they don't... If you kind of get them in the habit of uh, flipping back and then going into that and then maybe trying to combo off of that since they think you're backing off and they can press buttons again, then you can mix things up and go into that into the overhead and then get a free throw to get rid of that red life, son. Uh... Crouch Strong is okay. I mean, it whiffs sometimes. Like, it looks like it shouldn't be whiffing there, but it does. Uh, there it does. I don't know. Yoshi's normals are really weird. It doesn't look like he has a super reliable anti-air. Uh, I don't know. He's very weird uh, in, a, in a different sense than his uh, traditional character style. He's weird... Uh, I don't know how to describe that, but, it, you know, I, I like him, I like it, I'm getting used to the way that he plays a lot, um, there's also this really cool setup that I, uh, if you can link the crouch strong, that is, let me see if I can get it. Oh, yeah, I gotta show you guys Yoshi's tag combo. So, Vegas is pretty easy. It's just low forward into low strong into Scarlet Terror. Or, if you want to burn a bar, you can do the Flying Barcelona. Uh, so, let's go... Uh, let's do this. No, let's get the most damage out of this. Uh, so, that's... Yoshi... See, the problem with Yoshi that I don't like about him. Uh, his movement is a little butt. I mean, it's not the worst, but he's got like really awesome teleports that kind of make up for his movement, his garbage movement. Uh, they cover all over. I think the kicks do full screen teleports, maybe. Um, no, punches go behind him, okay. So punch teleports go behind the opponents, and that was an accident. Um, so, basically, his poor movement 
I don't like his movement. I think his movement's really fucking ass. But uh, I'm gonna have to work with it and like maybe take advantage of Pogo Sword being so fucking fast because like this is much faster dashing in than Yoshi's normal walk speed. Plus, I'd rather be doing this to get in than a regular jump in. Um, and then the headbutt is really nice. Yeah, you can't suicide off of that. That sucks. Uh, so the thing, the other thing, the second thing is Yoshi can't cancel a lot of his normals. He can't cancel stand round or stand fierce. He can cancel stand strong. If I could hit the link, there you go. Uh, he can basically only cancel short, forward, jab, and strong. He can't cancel fierce or roundhouse. Uh, so it makes his, uh, it makes him very weird because it, the optimal like specials for him are not always so apparent, and it kind of took me a little bit to figure out uh, what the optimal uh, go-to links for Yoshi were, and uh, it's just. A little stupid, but I mean, it's minor gripes. I mean, he's got decent damage outside of that to make up for such a minor, inconvenient, annoying thing. Plus, I mean, look at this jump roundhouse. This jump roundhouse is sick. Or jump fierce. Jesus, what am I saying? <laughs> uh, and then that being the case, it makes his tag in combos not nearly as optimal as they could be. Uh, I don't even know what. An optimal uh, Yoshimitsu like see that's about as optimal as it gets uh, aside from the fact that I didn't use fierce let's let's use fierce this time so, uh, 357 off of just uh, an ABC I mean not the worst Vega is getting about 271 for no bar. Uh, I could probably optimize Vegas a little more. Let's see how much it does for just an ABC. So 222. Uh, they don't have like the best ABCs, but I mean, I don't plan on using their ABCs a whole lot. Uh, I think they've got better setups than just ABC. The 306, you know, uh, I believe you can also, let's see here, can you, can you cancel into Pogo? Um, oh man, I'm really drawing a, uh, kinda, let's see, can you, no, okay, I was gonna try and see if you could, uh, if you could link jump roundhouse or like a jump attack into Pogo and then go into the head slide. Uh, oh yeah, that's something I haven't talked about yet. Uh, granted, you can't cancel his, like, you know, you can't cancel fierce into anything, you can't cancel roundhouse into anything. So, like, his weird fucking, like, I think the most damaging combo I found for him was, like, uh, I don't even remember it, but I remember it used the the breath. Um, let's see if I can play around with this here. 